This is an eye with previous cyclocryotherapy for neovascular glaucoma with an opaque cornea and an anterior chamber intraocular lens. Although an anterior approach could have been selected, it is often far simpler just to avoid all of the architectural abnormalities and proceed through the pars plana. Here we can see previous zones of cyclocryotherapy with adequately treated ciliary processes and completely missed processes. In fact, the border between treated and untreated areas are quite clear. The brown ciliary processes or portions of them are viable and still produce aqueous. Those are the targets for ECP. The ciliary processes that have turned white and are shrunken have already been treated and further photocoagulation will be of no value. A view through the pupil reveals the anterior chamber intraocular lens. Cobblestone degeneration is also noted in the peripheral retina. There is bleeding from a sclerotomy site that is quite active. This is treated by raising the intraocular pressure with infusion. Interestingly, a view in the anterior chamber reveals the haptics of this ACI well piercing the iris.